Sure. Bring it home right here. Hi, Jake. Nice. That was flush. Yeah, it was. Want to go some iron? Hi, my name is Jake Olson. I'm 14. I'm blind. And I enjoy skiing, surfing, playing sports, and especially golf. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, you guys. Hey, man. How are you? How are you? How's it going? Let's bring it back. Keep your eye on the ball. Nice shoulder turn. Beautiful. There you are. Take a nice divot. See that divot you made? That's beautiful. Pinch the ball right in the ground. All right, again. Hi, my name is Benjamin Weber. This is my strong eye. This is my weak eye. Do you play a lot? Mm -hmm. How many points do you get? Triple double? I hit one shot. Nice. I was diagnosed with retinoblastoma at the age of eight months old. Retinoblastoma is tumorous cancer in the retinas of your eyes and we fought it and it went away and then eight times it came back from the age of five to September of 2009. Every time the cancer would reappear, it would be immune to the treatment we just used on it. So when it came back in the September 2009, the doctor said, we're gonna have to take out your right eye, which meant I was gonna have to go blind. Since he's become blind, Jake has just embraced his life. He has a philosophy that he is just going to do what he wants to do. He'll find a way to do it. If somebody tells him he can't do something, um, he doesn't take that answer. He um, first wants to know why he can't do it and then proves him wrong. How far are we? 200. Most people when they're lining up over the ball and they realize they have to make a very delicate chip over this bunker and stop it. You know they tighten up and they usually scull it across and they chunk it into the water. Where me, I don't have to see that, so I'm just, you know, over my ball, focusing on my swing, focusing on the feel of the swing. Jake Olson has really been an inspiration to all of us and he's become really a great friend of our family. He's an amazing kid. He's a great spokesperson for how a child might be able to cope with retinoblastoma and blindness. And we noticed in photographs from vacation that the reflection in his eye, where you would normally expect to see a red eye reflection, you were seeing a cat eye or yellow reflection. Coates disease is a disease of the blood vessels of the eye. It's not uh, hereditary, it's not genetic. There's really no known cause for Coates disease. The vessels are leaking and produce fluid which detaches the retina and ultimately does result in full blindness if treated effectively an early partial vision can come back or be restored for the child. If you've ever been to CHLA, pulling up into that front circle is daunting. You know you're walking in with one version of your world and you're walking out with another and you just don't know what's waiting behind those doors. We were really fortunate that waiting behind those doors were Dr. Tom Lee and Dr. Lynn Murphy. I know what, how devastating it is to give this diagnosis of cancer. It's the death of the perfect child, you know, everybody has thoughts about what they would like their child to be, to look like, and suddenly not only are we saying it's cancer, but you know, it's the eye, it's the, it's, it's the a major way that we see the world and people see us. This can sometimes be a very difficult diagnosis and course for the parents. And for those children who are going to go on to have a visual deficit, there's a heavy emotional burden that goes with the parents, and we recognize that at the Vision Center. If I were to advise uh, parents who are maybe just learning that their child has Coates disease or retinoblastoma, I think, you know, my advice would be take comfort in the fact that um, at Children's Hospital Los Angeles you're getting the best care on the planet. You really have the best professionals around you to guide you. Listen to them, accept it, accept how it's going to change your life and your children's, and just love your child because uh, they'll still be happy and they'll still thrive and uh, they do great.
It's not that you can just go take a picture of your child and you'll see whether you have the glow or not. It will find you. You just need to be aware of it if it does find you. For us, trying to find a way to reach out and to just put these images in front of people in a way that indicates to them that this is a warning sign, that this is something that's saying, please bring me to the right person for care. That's our hope, to just try and make sure that everyone that we come across knows the glow. I just want parents to know that if you do feel that there is something wrong with your child's eyes, that you need to go get it checked and be persistent because it can make all the difference whether or not your child gets to keep his sight or his life. I'm Megan Weber. I am the parent of a child who has a disease associated with the GLOW. Please go to knowtheglow.org. Learn about it, share it, pass it on. We really are counting on you to help us educate the world about the dangers of the glow. Thanks, SOC. For bringing awareness. Have a great night.